Hi folks, it's Richard from Inclusive Driving. So in this video, we're going to show you what may seem like a very strange idea, but please bear with me as I explain why this is so important to your driving rehabilitation training. Because you've been driving manual cars in the past, your left foot is associated not just with changing gear, but it's also associated with slowing and stopping the car. Now this can create a very dangerous situation if you lose focus and you try to push the non-existent clutch pedal down to the floor. You have of course just floored the gas pedal and it's likely that because you were trying to stop there is a car in front of you or even more worryingly there could be a pedestrian walking in front of you on a zebra crossing. Now the aim of your rehabilitation and left foot pedal training is to try and eliminate this clutch habit. And we've got to retrain your left foot to be associated with a different style of driving now. If you think about how you used to operate the clutch pedal, it was generally a case of push it down fast and with a lot of force, but you'd lift it with more precision. Your left foot now needs to learn to be gentle and precise when pressing and releasing the accelerator and the brake. And this retraining can start even before you take your first lesson with me in an adapted vehicle. I'd like you to make a set of car pedals. I'll show you how to do this in a moment with a sock and two tennis balls. Tennis balls have a similar feel and squishiness to car pedals and I'd like you to spend some time before your first lesson practicing pressing and squeezing them with your left foot very gently as though you were driving. So here's a quick video on how to make these practice pedals and I'll see you again at the end of it. You will need two tennis balls. Make sure these are good quality, proper tennis balls. We want them to be squishy so that they feel very similar to a pedal in a car. Don't be tempted to use a cheap ball intended as a dog toy. It does not feel the same. You will also need three cable ties. And you will need an old sock. We told you this would be very expensive, didn't we? Take one of the socks and stuff one of the good quality tennis balls inside the sock almost to the end. Leave enough room at the end so that you'll be able to stick it down to the carpet in your car. Place the other tennis ball about five centimetres away. Try and get a distance that is very similar to the distance between the accelerator and the brake in a car. Use three cable ties one on each end of the sock and one in between the tennis balls just to keep them in place. Using a pair of scissors, chop off the ends that are unnecessary. And then in your car, use some carpet tape to stick the very expensive pedal simulator down in the footwell of the passenger side. 
try and place it in a place that replicates where the pedals would be if you were in the driver's seat. And then any time you are a passenger in the car, drive using the tennis balls. So please, please go ahead and make this. I know it sounds like a really bizarre thing to ask you to do, but I promise you it really will help you if you can start practicing and retraining your left foot before your first session with me. Now, as well as using the tennis balls when you're in the passenger seat of a car, you can use them at home. You can use them with a dining room chair and simply visualize or imagine a journey that you're familiar with and just practice driving that journey using the tennis ball pedals with your left foot. There are also some YouTube videos that I've uploaded that will give you a forward view from a car so you can use those if you're not able to sort of imagine your own journey. So while you're practicing, just remember that now the accelerator is going to be the pedal on the left and the brake is now the pedal on the right. So I look forward to meeting you for your first training session and get practicing with those tennis balls. We'll see you soon.